fellow YouTube. Today is September 14th and today this marks a very special day because today is the UK release of a certain magical index. Oh, this is just a fantastic show. It is worth ev pretty much any anime fan watching. If you live in the UK, this is something you should get. It is worth buying it on Blu-ray. It is so good. Now, I've already uh, I'm taken off the cellophane and everything, but that's how I like to do my unboxings. It makes things easier. And I just get to make sure everything's in order. Discs aren't damaged or anything, but anyway, moving on. As you can see, this is the front. It's very, very similar to the Amer recent American Blu-ray release. It's the spine. There's the back. And yeah. Have you now, if you haven't guessed, this is a very nice box. And it's, well... It's this is something I was very surprised about. I thought this would be car some cheap cardboard, but no, this is a proper chipboard uh like box. It is very, very nice. Uh, best way to com best thing to compare this to would be well the um, the American well, some of the American releases or for UK comparisons I guess I could compare it to Fate Zero's uh, DVD Collector's Edition. Very simple box. So, yeah, it's very thick. This is just something very surprising, considering this is a bog-standard Blu-ray release. So, and you, you really don't get this with the American Blu-ray and DVD combo. And, well, since this is a UK... And yeah, this is a UK Blu-ray. I 100% recommend buying the Blu-ray for the better packaging. Because as far as I'm aware of, the DVD is just the bog standard case, something like this. Yeah, it's all very much the same here. There's the spine, and oh, everything's normal here. Just standard episode listings. The discs are just very, very similar. To the American release, or at least the American Blu-rays, but yeah. Only thing that I find disappointing is that the American Blu-ray, there's a picture of Accelerator, but here we don't get that. Oh well, this is still a very, very nice set. Especially for the really, really nice thick box. This is just... Some it's just something I wasn't expecting, and it this is just something worth buying. There's no point in importing it from the US; just buy the UK copy. Anyway, before I stop this video, I'd like to just do a little comparison between the UK Blu-ray and the American DVD Collector's Edition. I'm not sure if they stopped doing this yet, but I got this a good year or two ago when it was on sale, and I just haven't been able to play it properly for the last number of months to maybe even a year. So I thought this buying the UK version was um, something that was pretty good, and I, something I just thought I definitely had to pre-order, but. I think I might as well do a little comparison with this. Anyway, you have parts one and part two here. It's the box, spine, and the back. <laughs> anyway, I think these might have stopped. I think they're not no longer doing the uh, DVD limited edition. But either way, it's now index is now out in the UK, so you might as well. By the UK copy. Anyway, yep. Yeah. You can kind 
kind of see where this image came from. It's disc one. It's disc two. And yeah, some of these images you can get as wallpapers if you go to Funimation's official website. Um, so yeah, if you're a big fan of Index, go to Funimation's website and get a whole bunch of really nice uh, wallpapers. Disc four. And there we go. So yeah. Sadly the American uh release does does have does come with more art, but in my opinion the ooh, ow. Yeah, the Amer like I was saying the American version does come with more artwork, but I still think the UK copy is still pretty good, especially for this nice box. But anyway, that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and stay tuned because soon, uh, whenever a certain scientific relegan is released, I will be doing an unboxing of that, and I will also do a comparison of the limited edition DVD release. So stay tuned, and hopefully that will be out soon if it doesn't get delayed again. Goodbye for now.